Yo, yo, what's up, Max Ever Mafia? It's your boy, Coach Myers, coming to you from the old school gym in the Max Ever Muscle HQ. I got a crazy superset for you today. The superset of the week is what I call the pre-exhaust method. I'm gonna teach you how to do this for the pectorials. Now, the reason I like to use the pre-exhaust method is sometimes people will have problems really exhausting the pecs when they're doing heavy compound movements like dumbbell presses, you know, regular bench press, close grip bench, whatever, because maybe their triceps give out before their pecs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use an isolation movement, we're gonna do a pec fly to pre-exhaust the pecs, go into that heavy press, where we're gonna use a quarter rep to really kind of emphasize the range of motion where the pecs are getting stressed, and then we're gonna end with an isometric hold to really knock this around the park. So, you're gonna start on these dumbbell flies, grab a light weight, I like to do these with my feet up, nice bend. Imagine you're kind of bringing your arms around a tree, come down, nice good stretch, squeeze the top. Almost kind of turn your pinkies towards each other. Now, the stretch is important, the squeeze is important. And you can do 10 reps, 15 reps, 20 reps, whatever it is you want to wait until you really feel that deep burn. Once you get that deep burn, then you'll grab kind of a medium weight set of dumbbells. Now you're gonna to need to go a little bit lighter than you would normally go on your dumbbell press because your pecs are already gonna be a little bit exhausted. Bring them up, you're gonna come down, up a quarter of the way, hold for one, two, three, back down and up fast. Down, one, two, three, up fast. Two, three. Anywhere from five day reps there, once you get your five day reps on the quarter press, you're gonna go right to a med ball. We're kind of like a, think of like a close grip push up position, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the hand placement a little bit. We're gonna turn our thumbs all the way up and you're gonna kind of hold on the middle of the ball as opposed to the top. So that way you have to actively squeeze the whole time. Right there, we're squeezing the pecs as hard as we can. Isometric contraction. You're gonna hold that from anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds. Once you finish that, hit some band work. To the shoulders, you know, pull apart stuff like that for prehab. Give your pecs two minutes of rest, right back on it, five rounds, and then pecs will be on fire! 